Hi, and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the magnification used to prepare an image of a cell, and calculate the actual size of organelles from electron micrographs. Now, a lot of students struggle with magnification in A level biology. However, I'll show you the way that I do it, and give you plenty of examples to practice. There is one golden rule with magnification, and that is to always keep your units the same. If you do that, you're more likely to get the correct answer. In the exam, you're usually asked one of two different types of questions. In the first type of question, you're given a scale bar. In the second type, you have to use the equation for magnification. We're going to start by looking at questions where you're given a scale bar. Look at this image of a cell. We're going to calculate the diameter of the nucleus. The scale bar tells us that this represents a distance of one micrometer. So how do we calculate the diameter of the nucleus? We start by measuring the length of the scale bar in millimetres. In the exam, you would use a ruler, so here it is. This tells us that the scale bar is 10 millimetres long. Now in the exam, you need to read the ruler very accurately, as the examiners will only allow a small margin of error. We now use the ruler to measure the diameter of the nucleus in millimetres. You can see that this is 63 millimetres. We now need to work out how many times bigger the nucleus is compared to the scale bar. So we divide 63 millimetres by 10 millimetres. This tells us that the nucleus is 6.3 times bigger than the scale bar. The scale bar represents a distance of 1 micrometer, so we multiply 6.3 by 1 to get the actual diameter of the nucleus as 6.3 micrometers. Here's one for you to try. I'd like you to determine the length of organelle M, which is a mitochondrion. So pause the video now and try this yourself. The length of the scale bar is 37 millimetres, and the length of the mitochondrion is 21 millimetres. Notice how I'm keeping the units the same. We divide the length of the mitochondrion by the length of the scale bar to get 0.57. This tells us that the mitochondrion is 0.57 times the length of the scale bar. We know that the scale bar represents a distance of 2 micrometers. Multiplying 0.57 by 2 gives us a value of 1.14 micrometers for the length of the mitochondrion. OK, now we can also calculate magnification by using this equation. Magnification equals image size divided by object size. Now it's critical that you learn this equation. Some students prefer to work with a triangle, so here it is. And remember the golden rule, always keep your units the same. Let's look at the typical question. The actual length of organelle M is 0.8 micrometers. Determine the magnification of this image. So the question tells us that the object size is 0.8 micrometers. In order to calculate the magnification, we need to know the image size, and we can measure this with a ruler. We can see that the length of organelle M is 30 millimetres. Now remember to always keep the units the same. So we need to convert 30 millimetres into micrometres. One millimetre is 1,000 micrometres, therefore 30 millimetres is 30,000 micrometres. Dividing 30,000 by 0.8 gives us a magnification of 37,500 times. Here's one for you to try. The actual distance between A and B is 6 micrometers. Determine the magnification of this image. You'll need the ruler, so here it is. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, the question tells us that the object size is 6 micrometers. From the ruler, we can see that the image size is 39 millimetres. We need to keep the units the same. Remember that 1 millimetre is 1,000 micrometres, so 39 millimetres is 39,000 micrometres. Dividing 39,000 by 6 gives us a magnification of 6,500 times. We can also use this equation to determine the actual size of an organelle if we know the magnification. Let's look at an example. The magnification of this image is 15,000 times. Determine the maximum length of organelle N. We need to rearrange the equation for object size, and here it is. We know the magnification is 15,000 times, so we can put that into the equation. 
In order to find the object size, we need to determine the image size. Using the ruler, we can see that the length of the image is 25 millimeters. Converting that to micrometers gives us a value of 25,000 micrometers. Dividing 25,000 by 15,000 gives us a value of 1.67 micrometers for this organelle. Here's one for you to try. The magnification of this image is 42,000 times. Determine the length of the organelle from A to B. Here's the equation that we'd be using, so pause the video and try this now. Okay, the image size is 38 millimeters. To convert this to micrometers, we multiply by 1,000, giving us a value of 38,000 micrometers. To calculate the object size, we divide this by the magnification, which is 42,000 times. This gives us an object size of 0.9 micrometers. Okay, so hopefully now you can carry out calculations involving magnification. <laughs>